Hi guys, it's, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my top five full coverage foundations. I did recently do my top five light and my top five medium coverage foundations. So now we are on to my full coverage foundations. I was gonna have this video go up a little bit earlier. Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted it from my memory card, but let's just get it right into it. Um, my top five foundations, they are more medium to buildable full coverage. I have a really hard time liking full coverage foundations for the fact of it doesn't quite look super natural on the skin. I feel like it looks super cakey, so when I am doing a full coverage foundation, I really have to try to give myself a very good skincare routine that works really well with dry skin because unfortunately I do have dry skin. I've got hair like everywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and start in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. This, realistically, it's a foundation that I just kind of feel meh about. I don't feel like overwhelmingly excited about, but it is one that I definitely like. I just kind of feel very neutral about it, and that's kind of the way I think I feel with most of these. Um, just because, again, it's full coverage, I just kind of feel meh about. But I like this enough to put it in my top five for full coverage. I know a lot of people really, really like it. They like that it's kind of got a little bit of a glowy, like a fresh face sort of look. So with that, I do have to consider this as one of my top five when I'm wanting a natural, somewhat radiant, full coverage foundation for that day. So, number one. The next one I have is my Rare Beauty Foundation. Uh, again, it's it goes on the skin a little bit drying. But I feel like, again, with the right base, to blend it out right, uh, add some spray to your beauty sponge. And I feel like this blends out really, really nice and it does look really, really good on the skin. So again, I do enjoy this and every time I put it in my rotation for my Shop My Stash, I love it. And then we've got one that I'm, again, um, it's kind of meh. How many times am I going to say that in this video? It's kind of one that I don't feel one way or another about, but I do get excited when I use it and when I am wanting a more full coverage foundation, and that is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I know it's a really good, hyped up one. A lot of people really like it, and I don't have to disagree for it being a full coverage foundation. I feel like it does the job nicely. I don't feel like, I didn't get like this wow feeling like I feel like a lot of people have got when they tried it, or like it doesn't, it's not like this amazing, like end all be all life changing makeup for me but it's it's good and I like it and I know a lot of people enjoy it so again um, something that's just kind of it works it does a job um, but again just it's not that full coverage is just not my favorite style and then this one I actually really do like it's the Anastasia luminous foundation because it is very glowy on the skin if you have oily skin, you might not like this, or if you don't like an overly dewy, like it looks very, very dewy, very glowy on the skin. Um, so for me, with drier skin, I like a more dewier look. So I actually really do enjoy this particular foundation. I actually got this in a boxy charm, and I wanted it when I first released it. So when I finally came to boxy charm, um, I was so excited. So I am actually really, really glad to have this in my collection. But if this is too expensive for you, I recently picked up the L'Oreal Lumi foundation and I feel like it does, has the exact same effect as the Anastasia one. Uh, so if you're wanting that very dewy effect but really don't want to spend the money, I feel like this one is well worth your money. It's a drugstore price tag and it it does the exact same thing. Um, other than the fact that I think I have two slightly different shades, I feel like these two are pretty much dupes for each other. So again, you know, if you're wanting that luminous effect, I would just go with this one instead of purchasing them, purchasing this one. But I think this one, I believe, has been in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in the past. So keep your eye out for that sale. Hopefully, it'll be in soon. Um, but again, I, I like, I like it. I think that this makes a great, affordable, full coverage foundation, and I would recommend it. So with that, all of these foundations, again. 
because they're full coverage they're not my favorite but when I am wanting a more glam more full coverage look this is kind of my more go-to full coverage set um, especially if I'm going somewhere that I'm really wanting to like pull out all the stops go full glam um, so these are my five go-to foundations let me know your favorite full coverage foundations down below I would like some recommendations for myself maybe i can find something that i like more than this particular set again i have more normal to dry skin and as soon as like the weather change is happening my skin just likes to dry out and so i'm really wanting a good full coverage foundation for dry skin so let me know below and with that i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one god bless and bye guys